for the game on Wednesday night at Cleveland. Marv Albert, Chris Weber, 18 points a game. You see that Milwaukee starting five. This is Hutterly firing, and it's rebounded by Jeff Green. As we check out uh, the Nets, front line of Durant, Green, and Jordan. As they get right... You want to leave your feet and make a pass right there. Green, he wish he could have that pass back. Middleton with an air ball saved by Harris. Chris Middleton coming off an excellent game. The other night, in fact, particularly down the stretch with a couple of key threes. This is Durant on the hop and short puts it down. Departure of Allen. It, the pressure is going to be up on Jordan, who lets Anthony Kupo take that three. Listen, keep giving that to me. I'll keep knocking it down. Giannis slightly under 30% from downtown. Nice play by Middleton. He's ahead of the field, and he is able to put it down. Does instill confidence in the defense to say, go ahead, take as many shots as you want from three-point line, no matter how many you make. And by the way, at the end of the game, we're going to fire you. Games here at home against the Bucks, going back several seasons. Green, guarded by DiVincenzo. Green backs his way. Off the head fake. Oh. You look at this team, Brooklyn Nets, four guys averaging in double figures. Great ball. Nine. Bucks with a NBA record 29 three pointers. One leg. Milwaukee up by one. Here's Durant. Well, big three that we've seen Kevin Durant and Chris Bosch, what I'm talking about. These have three ball handlers, and when you have three ball handlers, guys that can get their own shot, but then you don't have to wait for someone to get it to you, and the fluid, the motion, uh, can be that much more prevalent because each guy can do that. And when you have three ball handlers like they do, you can increase the pace. Each guy can take it off the rim, push it himself with the jump shoot and the parry. And Durant, looking at it long range. You know, Marv, I really think it's on these three players. I, I think it is... To dribble or did right. dribble. Remember that game? He had 60 points and what 12 dribbles? Yeah, 11, 12 dribbles. <laughs> yes, you're right. Un unbelievable, but you have Harden and Irving who do dribble all the time. Giannis was blocked by Jordan. Here's Lopez out of a foot. Bosch, you have Magic, Worthy, and Kareem, Bird, Mikhail, and Parrish, and you can keep going. They're, they're a batch of good threes able to uh, knock it down. You know what I think about in terms of the ball handling and the movement? TMC of Golden State. Yes. What, yes. They were just great to watch. I mean, you didn't have a guy like Durant. The TMC team, you're right, because you had three great ball handlers and three guys that can all shoot. Shoot the three-pointers. Even Tim Hardaway was great at poke and have ball movement, constant movement, and at the end of shot clocks, you have a lot of confidence because any player can get their own shot. They did win a championship, but they... I think that might have been the Achilles heel <laughs> in the late 90s. Bruce Brown has come on for the first time. He's played well. Former member of the Detroit Pistons, a very good defender. Middleton with a reverse. Nets with a two-point advantage. Middleton able to knock down the jumper. Point six rebounds, six assists, 47 percent from. But as Joe Harris goes to his specialty, able to hit from downtown. Holiday. Brooklyn to be and to play at that championship level that we all expect. DeAndre Jordan is going to have to be the man for this team on the defensive end. He's going to have to do two things. Finish on pick and roll strong and be a threat always. And secondly, make sure he blocks shots and finishes possessions with rebounds. I mean, it's, it's kind of how we're built. You know, the players are great. You know, Giannis, Chris, Drew, Brooke, all these guys. Um, you know, they get a lot of stops, and then, you know, they go the other way. They play fast, they share it. You know. The Milwaukee Bucks, we saw James Harden hit a three and then able to drive the lane. So, but that's moved within one. How about the Bucks already with 11 assists during the course of a 9-0 run that went two and a half minutes? Here's Giannis off his Harden coming off the sensational game Saturday night in his debut. 32 points, 14 assists, 12 rebounds. And... 
Yes, Green is able to lock it down. You know, Marv, I think one important note in this narrative, I know everyone talks about how hard it plays. And if this guy plays, then you're missing out on something. That's the Kupo just going down the middle of the lane. But I, I think people really have to remember the true context of Harden. When he played in OKC with Durant for three years, Durant in, in fourth quarter of the sixth, getting both he and Westbrook involved. D'Antoni, in my opinion, is the reason why Harden started to play that way. As you see. A beautiful look away pass. And the reverse by Brown. By DiVincenzo. Durant. And it's tipped home by Jordan. Here is Durant out of pull up. Yes. Has not shot well. Now two of eight from the field, just six points. Nice move there by Middleton. Vincenzo on Durant quite a bit. Three year man out of Villanova, two time champion. And Villanova, here's Harris with room. Yes. His sleep, and I tell you what, the Bucks are fortunate. The reverse missed by Andrew Kumbo. <laughs> Speaking of fortunate and easy buckets, you usually make Giannis <laughs> giving them the payback. And hard four for six from the field, 11 points. In fact, Durant and Harden have eight of the Nets' last nine assists. DiVincenzo pops it to the corner. Here's Augustine. And now the Nets back in possession. Harden surrounded. Triple team gets it to the rent and he puts it down. Giannis 14 points, five rebounds, five of 12 from the field. And adds to that. And starts understanding. Yeah, I can get crossed over and embarrassed, but. If I do my job, I can also get a turnover for our squad. Holiday, one of the better defensive backcourt men in the league. He's been all defensive first and second team a couple of times. And an all-star with New Orleans. And a fadeaway bank oh. shot. Uh, certainly been standing out with the, the big number on Saturday night. And then six in the first half. We've had eight ties, eight lead changes. Milwaukee. Struggling from three-point range, four of 19, one for their last 11, and they are an excellent three-point shooting team. It's hard with a run of oh, Play call by Coach Nash. They got the ball to Harris. Harris didn't have the shot he wanted, and with five seconds on the clock, you get it to Harden, and he gets an easy one. A real good easy one. As uh, he is able to hit from downtown, he now has eight points. Game is tied at 59. Here's Durant over Middleton. Yes. Kevin Durant now with 13 points. Green has 11, as does Harris. And Brooke Lopez standing three-point shooter. Back in his earlier days with the Nets, he rarely attempted a three-point shot. His heart, yes. Nets by one. Shade over two minutes gone by in this third quarter. Marv Albert along with Chris Weber. Pretty pass and Harris. He's lying, but as a competitor, <laughs> he really did make a win that count, especially against my Kings. And uh, you got to give the man a lot of credit for not stopping in the spots that he loves because he put too much time in on the practice court. And Durant has turned it around in this second half. He now has 16 points. That's by five. Here's Jeff Green. Yes, he has had to have at least 13 signature shoes. The Nets with an eight-point lead on the Bucks. Shot clock is down to five. And I'm like this, fella. You know what time it is. And George just had to smile and give him respect on that corner. You have to give the credit of Brooklyn a lot of defense. Of Brooklyn a lot of credit right now. Staying in the pass. So James Hart now with 18 points. Kevin Durant with 16. Jeff Green with 14. 
a team can play because you can now get wide open looks off the floor in that play. And the strong finish by Jordan is Jordan Green up front. Harden, Harris in the backcourt. Harden, Harris. Disrupted off the offense, did not work. Hey, Nobody. Incidentally, that was a third team foul on the Nets. Harris right back. Are shooting 55% for the game. Yeah, Green 5 for 5. Harris 6 of 8. Harden 7 of 14. And Giannis with the foul. This is Augustine with a deep 3. Bruce Brown has checked in for the Nets. A runner by the row. That's just a floater. Again, I'll say it every time. He makes me wish I could go back in a time machine and watch the great George Gervin play because they seem that they must have the same type of smooth game. It's up 87 78. Save made. Green. This time he's off. First miss. He hit his previous five shots. Four from downtown. How are they feeling? The contact hits. Yes. Players for his selfless play and on off court leadership. And one of the team leaders now with the box. The pass to Harden comes right back to him. And he took it by the double. Gets it out. Here is Brown. Back comes Augustine using the pick. Giannis spinning his way on a double team and scores from three point land. Some of that has been self inflicted. Guys just missing shots, but you have to give a lot of credit to the Bucks. Who, I mean, to Brooklyn, who's been switching and communicating on time. Harden to Jordan, and that's good. Harden putting moves on. Harden not able to hit. I got to Kumbo. So he the Chenzo. Bad pass broken up by Jordan. Kept alive though by Holiday. Brings to the rim and scores. But uh, what a pleasure to be able to coach James. I think he makes everybody better. Um, you know, Kevin's starting to continually, I think, feel more comfortable playing NBA basketball again. Obviously, player of the week is incredible after 18 months out. But James and Kevin, as an NBA head coach, Hall of Famer, eight-time All-Star, had a spectacular 18-year career. We saw Bryn Forbes hit a moment ago. Giannis with the stuff. Forbes. You know, Mark, we see Coach Nash talking to Harden. And again, so much has been made of the styles of play of players as you see Harden. Not a tough one down. For younger players and younger fans that didn't see Nash play, and there's this narrative on Harden's game, fair or unfair. Nash dribbled the ball more than Harden. I played against him. I know that for a fact, and I know that he was so tough to stop because he was one of the most unselfish point guards that you guarded. His the early fourth quarter, and the Bucks have closed the gap. Here's Connaughton from Jordan up top. Harden played physically by DiVincenzo. Rolls on. Kept the line. MLK Day showcase triple header as we celebrate the life and achievements of civil rights leader Martin Luther King. Points. Love how Giannis let that play come to him. He didn't step out of the three-point line. He's capable of knocking it down that 19-foot jumper. And pretty soon the defense is going to have to come up. And then he'll drive by for that Euro step up. Hard showing the complete. Yes. Forbes is an excellent shooter. At that time, to a couple of buckets. Durant. Played physically by Connaughton. In fact, Durant thought he was fouled. Now Durant with the step pulls it up. You no, know, you have a tough night trying to guard me off. Divincenzo goes back in. Durant with the rebound. That's up by five. Hard on the drive. Yes. Kyrie Irving when he returns.
look at the upcoming national TV schedule tomorrow on NBA TV. It's the Pelicans and the Jazz. Grand's pass saved by Hart with Harris for three. Holiday comes across, finds room, and finds Giannis. So a three-point game. Nets have led by as many as 11. Bucks keep coming back. Durant, yes. This is old school Reggie Miller. Go set a pick, let a guy come up, and he's going to knock it down. It's such a luxury to have if you're Nets. Exactly. So if this team focuses on defense, and we heard Charles Barkley talk about making sure this team could rebound with the best of them, it's going to be tough to stop. Lopez for three. Yes. Big fella. Apparently we had a technical problem. Missed a couple of plays. Cotterton. And jump off the bench to cheer his guys on saying, this is how we're supposed to play. So the Nets in possession now. Here's Harden got the step. Harden banks it up for James Harden. Nets with a one point and his look has a gift for three. This time comes up with air. They were saved though by Connick to the shooter. There's Durant just did get it off. Connick with the rebound. Middleton needs to be more aggressive, especially off the pick and roll. And Middleton. Oh, he got a friendly bounce. He needs the ball in his hands late in the game. Fourth team foul on Milwaukee. Beautiful setup again. I will 32 Milwaukee. and 10 for Harden in this is second game. As a net, Harden going left this time, and he is able to get the roll on the So the, the Nets ball. recapture the lead up by one. On the Bucks guard, dribble penetration is going to be the story for the rest of this game. Middleton backs it home off the drive with 13 points in this fourth quarter. Nice pass. Conley could not connect, but and the Bucks lead by two. Great job by Giannis following the shot blocker. Following the shot blocker, usually that block shot is going to be your rebound. Great finish. Harris with the catch and shoot for three. Joe Harris, seven for 12. That's his fifth three. He has 20 points. Great flare screen by DeAndre Jordan. Get him wide open. And again, middle. Bucks by one. 45 seconds left in regulation. Hart open for three. Rebounded by Hart. Finds Durant for three. Yes. See if we get the pick and roll between Giannis and Middleton. Middleton for three. Rebound Harris. What an all around game that has been for Joe Harris. We're down to 20 seconds, three second differential. Nets by two. Durant goes to the crossover. Lost it. Middleton. Three and eight ten seconds to go in this fourth quarter. Holiday looking to inbound. He goes to Middleton. He's three-point territory. Fires in and out and the net.